Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be reviewing the brand new Charlotte Tilbury Superstar Lips Lipsticks and the new Luxury Palette of Pops Supersonic Girl Eyeshadow Quad. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on these, then just keep watching. So Charlotte Tilbury just released two new types of products. They are limited edition, so of course if you want to get your hands on them, I would suggest doing so soon. She released an eyeshadow quad. This is called the Luxury Palette of Pops Supersonic Girl. It features four warm peach red glitter shades. She also released a new formula of lipsticks called the Superstar Lips. She released six colors. I only have four to show you today, but they are a glossy lipstick formula that is new to her line. So let's get started with the eyeshadow quad. So it just comes in a tiny little square Charlotte Tilbury packaging. Very classic for her line, nothing too different. And then you open it up and it's going to reveal four glittery shades in the warm tone family. So I did swatch these guys for you to see. As you can see, the first color isn't very noticeable, but I will go into each individual shade in a moment. The premise behind this palette is that it features four shades from her previous palettes that were that pop. So this isn't a quad made to do one look with. This is just for you to add a pop to your list. So you do have to pair this with other palettes. I almost forgot to mention it is $53. So you're paying a lot for four little eyeshadow pans. So just note that. So let's go into the formula of these guys. They each have glitters infused in them. They are more of a silver reflex. Most of the glitters in these are all the same. The glitters aren't chunky. They're pretty fine, but they definitely do add a sparkle to your lid. Of course, I have them on right now and they look gorgeous when they hit the light. The base to most of these shadows are very sheer. This first shade is really sheer, but I think that's how it's supposed to be. It really is almost more of a lid topper. I do have it in my inner corner. I do like how it applied. This shade right here is the most pigmented and these two are about the same pigmentation. When you apply these shadows, you need to have some type of glitter glue or sticky base underneath because I tried applying these without a base underneath and I got glitter all over my face so that immediately is kind of a downside because I do have some glitter shadows that I don't need to have a sticky base but you need a sticky base under these. Once I put a sticky base underneath, I don't have any fallout, but like I said, you will have glitter all over your face if you apply these without a base underneath or with a dry brush. So to do the look that I'm wearing on my eyes, I used some shades from my Modern Renaissance palette in the crease, and then I went in with this first color right here, and I applied that to the inner half of my lid. This is my favorite color in the palette. I think it is the prettiest. I think it has beautiful micro fine glitters and I thought it applied very well. Just make sure you apply with your finger in a pressing motion. I then went in with the cranberry color and I was kind of disappointed with the formula in this guy. Even with a sticky base underneath, it applied kind of chunky and there was fallout. So I really did have to work to press that into the lid. I also used this shade in the inner corner. There isn't much of a base color to it. It is very pretty and it does have very nice micro fine sparkles but $53 on a lot. I think this would be very pretty all over the lid with just a simple eye look where you almost want to look like you're not wearing shadow. I would really like that shadow. Um, this color I didn't apply in the look, but it also, like the red one, is kind of chunky, so it's not really my favorite. So uh, overall, this little quad is $53. I personally don't think it's worth it. It's not my favorite pressed glitter eyeshadow formula. I just think you can get better formulas for cheaper or about the same price, but with way more than four colors. I don't know, a quad for $53. I really wasn't feeling this. All right, let's get into the Superstar lips. I really like these. I'm just gonna tell you right away to end the video on a more positive note. These are $34 each. They're very expensive. The packaging of these guys is the same as the regular Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, but it's really thin. And personally, I really like thin lipsticks like these. They're similar to the Fenty lipstick size where they are long and thin. I have small lips, so I think it makes it very easy to apply. Like I said before, the formula of these guys is they are shiny. They are a glossy lipstick. Now, I swatched them for you. The shade I have for you guys are Pillow Talk, Confident Lips, Happy Lips, and Walk of Shame. Pillow Talk is described as a dreamy nude pink glossy lipstick. It's what I'm wearing right now and I really love it. This is actually, I think, my favorite of the four. The regular Pillow Talk lipstick, I'm actually not too much of a fan of, but I really like it in this formula. I just feel like Pillow Talk normally just doesn't do anything for me. It's just kind of there. But this is beautiful. This is great for every day. Confidence Lips is the deepest color in the collection. It's a berry glossy lipstick. And as you can see from application, it is very pigmented. 
you have to wear a liner with this i'll go into that later but i really do like this color i like the shine and i like that you don't have to put a lip gloss over top it's a lot more pigmented than i thought it would be but it almost has like a i just ate a popsicle kind of look but on steroids the next shade is Happy Lips. This is a coral glossy lipstick. This is going to look so gorgeous in the summer, but thank goodness summer's almost over. That's why I'm wearing this sweatshirt. It is so cold right now. I'm so happy it feels like actual fall right now. But come summer, this is going to be a beautiful coral lipstick and really, really comfortable in the summer as well. The last shade I have is Walk of Shame, which is a berry rose pink glossy lipstick. This again is a really nice color. This is going to look good for every day, but when you want your lips to have a little bit more pop, I do like this color a lot as well. So Pillow Talk is my favorite shade because I think it's now one of my favorite everyday lip colors. Formulation wise, these guys are very comfortable on the lips. Now, the nature of the product is that they are very glossy and comfortable. So when you get a product like that, they're not going to last long. So these aren't the most long lasting lipstick. With that being said, they're so easy to just throw on. It's not a big deal reapplying them like it is liquid lipsticks. I have a hard time reapplying liquid lipsticks for some reason, but these I have no problems just standing in line at the grocery store and just. So they don't last long, but you know what you're in for when you're buying this product. It's just, if you want glossy lips, that's just what's gonna happen. It's just not gonna be as long lasting. Now the formula of this is very emollient. So if you do have more mature skin, some lines in your lips, you definitely want to just line a little bit around the edges to stop that lipstick from seeping into your lines. Even I would consider applying a lip liner before. But I mean, overall, I really like this formula. I think it's a really nice addition. I just really like really glossy lip sticks like this so I'm so happy that she has these and that I picked them up if I would recommend one to you of course it would be pillow talk so these I would give a 9 out of 10 the palette of pops I personally just wasn't too moved by it so I'm personally not recommending it to you just because I feel like there are a lot better glitter formulas out there right now that I would consider picking up for way less money or for a bigger bang for your buck I mean it's pretty but um I don't think it's anything special. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that review of these two new Charlotte Tilbury products. Let me know down below if you're interested in purchasing them or if you already have and your thoughts on them. I would love to catch you guys in the next video, so make sure you subscribe. Have a great day, guys. Bye.